While the excitement around Tesla bot Gen 2 hasn't died down yet, Elon Musk has confirmed that Optimus Gen 3 will debut in Q1 next year. This version will be capable of doing everything from cooking and cleaning to taking care of people. Yeah, according to Musk, it will be so human-like that we'll have a hard time telling the difference, and it will be able to perform around 3,000 useful tasks at a price of $30,000. Here's what Elon Musk recently revealed about this version. We look forward to unveiling Optimus V3. Um, you know, probably in Q1, I think it'll be ready for, uh, to, to show off. And, uh, that, that I think is going to be quite remarkable. Um, if you, you, it won't even seem like a robot, it'll seem like a person in a robot suit, which is kind of how we started off with Optimus. Um, but it, it'll seem so real that you'll need to like poke it, I think, to believe that it's actually a robot. However, even before Optimus Gen 3 is released, Elon Musk has shocked everyone by announcing that Tesla will mass produce Optimus Gen 4 and Gen 5. You know, we'll do Optimus 4, that'll be, you know, 10 million units, Optimus 5, maybe 50 to 100 million units. I mean, it's really pretty nutty. This means that Optimus Gen 3 won't be the final version of the Tesla bot. And if the Gen 3 model can perform 3,000 useful tasks, that implies Optimus Gen 5 could double that number to around 6,000 tasks with accuracy potentially matching that of a human. It won't just be limited to simple chores like cooking and cleaning, it will also be integrated into various environments, one of which is hospitals. According to Elon Musk, Optimus Gen 5 could even perform surgeries with extremely high precision. Optimus will be an incredible surgeon, for example, um, and imagine if everyone had access to an incredible surgeon. According to speculation, this could be the most advanced and expensive version of the Tesla bot we wouldn't be surprised if it's priced around $80,000. The logic is simple. If it can handle 70 out of the 100 tasks a human can do, it could actually generate income for its owner. In that sense, it would pay for itself, and the payback period could be quite short. Okay, that's everything you need to know about Optimus Gen 3, Gen 4, and Gen 5. Is Tesla truly leading the humanoid robot revolution? Let's dive into the latest updates right now. Before we get started, what do you think about the Unitree G1 robot video showing it pulling a car in a garage? It's described as 35 kilograms pulling 1,500 kilograms, but we're a bit skeptical. Maybe the driver helped move the car. We could be wrong though, what do you think? Drop a comment below. Okay, earlier today Elon Musk posted on X saying, Great Tesla Optimus engineering and manufacturing review today. Imagine having your personal C3PO and R2D2, Optimus will be even better. This isn't the first time Elon Musk has compared Optimus to C-3PO, but it seems to be a compliment following the robot's recent attention and praise for handing out Halloween candy to people in New York's Times Square. It's also not the first time Tesla Optimus has captured public attention. The company has created plenty of buzz and jobs through its various projects. Optimus has even served drinks and popcorn at Tesla dinner events. And, you know, the Tesla bot isn't just here to tidy your house or work on the factory floor, that's only the beginning. Next year, it's set to take things to a whole new level with a lineup of brand new abilities and features rolling out ahead of its official launch. Yeah, for the past three years, Elon Musk has been making bold promises about the Tesla bot, not just to excite fans, but to convince investors, employees, and the public to look beyond Tesla's identity as a car company. He's betting the company's future on a humanoid robot designed to help with everyday life, from cooking and cleaning to childcare and more. Musk has even said on at least five separate occasions that Optimus will one day outsell every other Tesla product in history. So we've made radical improvements to the design of Optimus um, while increasing the functionality but making it actually possible to manufacture. Like I'd say Optimus 2 is almost impossible to manufacture, frankly. From the very start of the Q3 earnings call, all eyes were on one thing, the reveal of Optimus version 3. Elon Musk hinted that the new model could debut as early as the first quarter of next year. But what really grabbed attention was his description. The next Optimus, he said, won't even look like a robot. It'll look like a person in a robot suit. Musk joked, so realistic that you'd have to poke it just to be sure it's not human. That means this next version will take refinement to a whole new level. Every contour and surface carefully designed to conceal wires, joints, or mechanical parts almost entirely. Musk has even hinted that its movements will be so smooth and lifelike that you could easily mistake it for a real person. 
rumors are already swirling that Tesla Bot 3 might come with an OLED display for its face, Grok voice integration, and remarkably human-like hands. While Elon Musk hasn't confirmed those details, he also hasn't denied them. And that says a lot. For now, he's clarified that the model we've been seeing in recent demos is still Optimus 2.5. And even that version has stunned audiences. Performing fluid kung fu moves so realistic that some people at the Tron, Ares premiere, actually thought it was a person in costume. It's also been spotted holding a microphone on stage and even serving food at the Tesla diner. Impressive? Absolutely. But this is just the beginning. According to Musk's long-term roadmap, Tesla aims to produce around 10 million units of the upcoming Gen 4 model and as many as 100 million for Gen 5. Most people, understandably, find that hard to believe and honestly, so do we. Still, if Optimus 3 delivers on even half of what's been teased, we're about to witness one of the most extraordinary leaps in robotics yet. Like if, if Optimus, I think, could probably achieve 5x the productivity of a person per year because it can operate 24 seven. Um, it doesn't even need to charge, it can operate it tethered, uh, so it's, it's plugged in the whole time. However, it seems Tesla may be running a bit behind on Optimus 3. The robot was originally expected to make its big debut at the company's major November event, but that's now been pushed to the first quarter of next year. The delay likely comes down to one key challenge, the hands. During the meeting, Musk openly acknowledged the hurdles his team is facing. He called bringing Optimus to market an extremely difficult task, and even admitted that the robot's hands and forearms are proving to be a tougher engineering problem than the rest of the entire machine combined. It's an incredibly difficult thing, especially it's difficult to create a, um, a hand that is as dexterous and capable as the human hand, which is an incredible, the human hand is an incredible thing. As we've mentioned before, and as Elon Musk has repeatedly emphasized, the hands are by far the most complex and expensive part of Optimus. If each unit costs around $50,000, Musk estimates that the hand technology alone could account for half, or even 60%, of that total. To make Optimus 3's hands move and function like a human's, Tesla needs to replicate the intricate anatomy of four fingers and a thumb, each with multiple joints, different lengths, and a muscle-like system built into the forearm. Building a robotic hand that can gently hold an egg, thread a needle, or lift a dumbbell isn't just difficult. It's one of the toughest mechanical challenges in robotics. It demands compact actuators that are both powerful and incredibly precise. It might be close to half of all the engineering in the in, in Optimus. From an electromechanical standpoint, the hand is probably r roughly half of the engineering. But so much of the intelligence, so much the intelligence of humans goes into what we do with our hands. Yeah. But beyond the hands, another major challenge lies in mass production. During the earnings call, Musk revealed Tesla's ambitious goal to eventually build 1 million Optimus robots per year. Then he highlighted a sobering truth. There is no supply chain for humanoid robots. With, uh, with a humanoid robot, there is no supply chain. Um, so in order to, to manufacture that, Tesla actually has to be very vertically integrated. Okay, you know, that means Tesla must create nearly every key component in-house, from actuators to control systems pushing vertical integration to unprecedented levels. It's a massive undertaking, one that only a company with Tesla's scale and manufacturing expertise could realistically attempt. Beyond the challenges of engineering and mass production, one of the biggest issues Tesla faces in developing Optimus is ensuring the robot's absolute safety. Elon Musk has repeatedly warned about this concern. I think we have to be careful about Optimus being potentially uh, used uh, in ways that are bad. Uh, because that is one of the possible things to do. So... Yeah. We all know that Optimus isn't just a simple machine. It's a humanoid AI system capable of perception, movement, and interaction within human environments. That makes it an extremely sensitive target in today's increasingly complex global cybersecurity landscape. If the control systems, sensor data, or decision-making algorithms of Optimus were ever leaked or hacked, the consequences wouldn't just be physical damage they could pose a direct threat to human safety. Imagine thousands of Optimus robots operating in factories, hospitals, or even homes. A single software vulnerability could allow hackers to take control and turn them into tools for disruption or harm. For instance, you might ask it to fetch medicine, but it could hand you the wrong one due to a compromised command. That's why Elon Musk and the Tesla team are building a multi-layered security ecosystem, including data encryption, 
real-time monitoring, AI firewalls, and automatic safety lock mechanisms that activate whenever abnormal behavior is detected. Tesla has stated that it will develop secure remote control protocols, allowing humans to intervene immediately if a robot ever acts beyond its permitted boundaries. However, what's truly noteworthy is that, unlike electric vehicles or standard software, a humanoid robot can learn and self-adjust its behavior through machine learning. This makes it extremely challenging to ensure that Optimus doesn't learn the wrong things or get tampered with during its training process. Every advancement in the robot's cognitive abilities also means an increase in security risks, which is why Tesla must tightly integrate artificial intelligence, tech ethics, and cybersecurity. In short, Elon Musk has emphasized that the Tesla bot must be completely safe before it's made available to the public. Of course, we need to make sure Optimus is safe and everything, but, but I, I do think we're headed for a world of sustainable abundance. Right now, Tesla's focus remains on something far more practical household chores. This stage of development might seem modest compared to the robot's long-term ambitions in factories or even Mars colonies, but it's a crucial first step. Elon Musk understands that for the public to truly accept humanoid robots, Optimus must first prove itself useful in daily life. A robot that can tidy the living room, fold laundry, or prepare a simple meal will have a much easier time earning the trust and curiosity of customers than one performing complex industrial tasks that feel distant from everyday reality. For decades, when people imagined robots and artificial intelligence, the images came straight out of science fiction. Gleaming androids, from movies like I, Robot, walking, talking, and serving breakfast in futuristic kitchens. But in the real world, that dream felt impossibly far away. The idea of a machine casually standing in your kitchen, making a sandwich, or reaching into the fridge for a drink seemed almost absurd. After all, cooking and cleaning aren't just about strength. They require finesse, adaptability, and the delicate control of human hands, things that even the most advanced machines have long struggled to replicate. That's where the Tesla Bot Gen 3 breaks new ground. Tesla has designed Optimus with a level of anatomical precision that borders on human. The human hand, with its 27 joints and intricate network of tendons and muscles, is capable of both strength and subtlety, from holding a heavy pan to threading a tiny needle. To mimic this, Tesla has engineered dozens of miniature actuators inside each robotic hand, allowing for up to 22 degrees of freedom. In simple terms, this means each finger can move, bend, and react almost like a real one. It's not just engineering, it's biomechanics brought to life. And while the day Optimus casually flips pancakes in your kitchen may still be a few years away, the technology being developed today is what will make that once impossible scene a reality. It's precisely because of this highly sophisticated hand design that Optimus can perform delicate tasks that once seemed impossible for robots. It can gently cradle an egg without breaking it, slice a tomato into paper-thin pieces without crushing it, and spread mayonnaise with just the right amount of pressure, a level of control that blurs the line between machine and human. Most robotics companies like Unitree or Boston Dynamics have mastered agility. Their robots can run, jump, or even dance. But they still can't peel an orange. The difference lies not in strength, but in fine motor control and cognitive understanding, areas where Tesla has taken the lead. Optimus doesn't just see the world, it perceives and understands it. Using an advanced network of cameras and 3D sensors, it can recognize objects in the kitchen not just by shape, but by function. Through intensive training by Tesla engineers, the robot learns that a knife is used for cutting, a jar holds sauces, and a pan is for cooking. This information is stored and processed within Optimus's central AI brain, which allows it to make real-time decisions and execute each step with remarkable precision. Every movement, from reaching for a utensil to turning on a stove, is the result of millions of micro-calculations happening in fractions of a second. For over a year now, Optimus has been training 16 hours a day at Tesla's research facility in Palo Alto, California. What makes this process revolutionary is how it learns. Instead of being programmed line by line like traditional robots, Optimus learns autonomously through a sim to reel method, the same way humans learn through observation and practice. It can watch tutorial videos, observe a human making a sandwich or cleaning a table, and then simulate the process in a virtual environment. Within that simulation, it makes mistakes, analyzes them, and gradually improves until it achieves near-perfect performance. This continuous learning loop allows Optimus Gen 3 to master new tasks every single day, whether it's preparing breakfast, setting the table, 
or organizing a messy kitchen. According to Elon Musk, the next version of Optimus will feature major hardware and mobility upgrades, giving it faster reflexes, more natural walking movements, and better balance across uneven terrain. While today's prototype still moves cautiously, Musk promises that by the time Optimus is ready for commercial release, it will walk, move, and react like a human. And most impressively, it will almost never fall down. Optimus isn't just a robot that follows spoken commands, it's designed to understand humans on a deeper, more intuitive level. Thanks to its advanced perception systems, it can interpret not only voice instructions but also facial expressions and body language. Imagine standing in your kitchen after dinner. You don't even need to say a word. A simple glance toward a pile of dirty dishes or a quick point of your finger is enough for Optimus to recognize what you want. Within seconds, it will calmly approach the sink, roll up its digital sleeves, and start cleaning. This ability to read non-verbal cues makes interaction with Optimus feel far more natural, almost like communicating with another person rather than a machine. The secret behind this lies in the AI5 cognitive system that powers the Tesla bot Gen 3. This next-generation neural architecture allows Optimus to build its own navigation maps and adapt dynamically to different home environments. Every house is unique, from narrow hallways and uneven floors to cluttered living rooms and playful pets darting around. Using its onboard cameras, depth sensors, and real-time processing unit, Optimus constantly scans its surroundings, creating a three-dimensional layout of the home. It remembers where the furniture is, knows which rooms are connected, and can move effortlessly between them without bumping into anything. Even more impressively, Optimus's AI system is context-aware. It can distinguish between a chair and a sleeping pet, a dropped toy and a power cord, and adjust its movements accordingly. If a child suddenly runs across the room or a dog wags its tail near its feet, Optimus instantly recalculates its path, maintaining both safety and efficiency. This situational intelligence represents a leap forward from earlier robots that relied on rigid pre-programmed routes. Instead of merely following commands, Optimus interprets intentions, combining human cues, environmental data, and predictive reasoning to act with precision and empathy. It's not just automation, it's the beginning of true coexistence between humans and intelligent machines in everyday life. What do you think about Tesla Bot Gen 3? Are you excited or maybe a little skeptical about the idea of humanoid robots working alongside humans in our daily lives? Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. If you enjoyed this deep dive, please smash that like button, share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll never miss a future update. We've got a lot more exciting tech stories coming your way. Until next time, stay curious, stay inspired, and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.